hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a unique feature called allow check reuse the problem statement of this you know functionality is like during the check printing or after the check printing if the check has been damaged for any reason system does not allow you to print the same check number once again in the same journal however dynamics gives you the functionality if you make it make this the toggle or boolean to make it to yes it will allow you to reuse it first i will show you the problem and then i will make it to yes and then i will show you how it works so this functionality is available or the parameter is available under cache and bank management setup and cache and bank, cache and bank management parameters let's see i will now just create the payment journal without enabling this functionality so I will just create new this one lines I will create a payment journal this one and then settle transactions I'm just creating one payment so that I can use it for check releasing. So what I will do, I will just change this to USD. So these are all uh, managing, it's not for you. Actually, it is nothing related to functionality. What I will do, I will just, you know, uh, generate the payments check and I will click OK. For now, I so it is coming as 811. So for now, I don't have any printer. So I will just click on check PDF, click on OK. I will just download this in my <coughs> system. Okay. So now, if you see the check number is 811, the check has been printed. If I go to this one, and if you will notice the check number is 811 so now suppose the problem is during this printing i just downloaded in my system but during the print printing and printer uh, uh, we have printed it but after that that has been damaged what to do because system will not allow why i will show you so what i will do i will just reject it so that i can regenerate it once again so i will just change to none so i will just click generate payment click ok Okay, so now if I even change it to 811 and try, try to regenerate it, 811, I will click OK. Let's see. Now you see, even if I even try to regenerate the check number, it will not allow, it will still check, take the next one. So now here comes this functionality so what i will do for this i will just post it it is useless i will just post it so now i will show you the functionality how to use it so <clears throat> i will go to cache and bank management parameters and i will just enable this one now i will show you the change go to vendor payment journal create a new payment Select this vendor, settle transactions. This one, so suppose. <coughs> okay, I just need to tweak this one so that it allows me. This one. Okay. So, okay, what happened? This one, click OK. I will change the currency so that it allows me to generate it. So now what I will do, I will just click generate payments, same bank accounts. I will just click on this file because I don't have any printer. So now we will, now we think 813 is my check number. 
I will reproduce the scenario. Now it has been generated 813. So now the same problem that I have or due to some reason the check has been damaged during printing or after printing. Okay. So I want to regenerate this check number 813 because I, I cannot just reprint it from here. So what I will do, I will just uh, change this payment status. Here you see, rather than selecting rejected, I can see, I can use it reuse because I have enabled that toggle or boolean. If I click on reuse, <coughs> now if I generate it, it is still taking weight 13. I will just file, okay, I will click okay. So previously, even if I have changed the same uh, the check number to the same number, it has not, you know, allowed me to use the same number. But here, since I have just, you know, changed this to reuse from the payment status, it understood that it has to be reused, right? That is the reason it is giving the same check number. That is, a, this is the feature all about, which is reuse the check number. So by this, a small problem can be solved example like due to like I mentioned earlier that check number has been check, check has been damaged and you need to reprint it so you can use this feature and mitigate this problem statement the only drawback and I don't I don't know why <coughs> because as per the Microsoft documentation the problem statement is generic it's not it's not like region specific because anyone can damage the check number right because the problem statement is if i damage it if i make it damaged if some some reason it has been damaged it has to be reprinted but surprisingly microsoft has given this functionality which is on usa and canada localization if you go to another localization if you, you will, will not find this functionality example if i go to cash and bank management it is USA map legal entity which is USA and if I go back and go to maybe INF INMF right so this if I just change this to IMMA NMF this functionality is not there See, this toggle is not there this is surprise uh, surprisingly you know I don't know why Microsoft has not given because the problem statement is generic anyone can do this mistake and this is very generic problem but anyway if this requirement comes up in us and canada localization you can mitigate it easily however if you if it comes in under in another localization or another country you need to just think about some customization or extend the extend the localization to the other custom other local other local country specific where you need this okay so that's what i wanted to discuss i wanted to showcase and th that's that's all about this video thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this bye for now